Hi guys, it's your pal Wally back again for another exciting episode of Wally's Quest. I hope everybody is having a great day and enjoying their Friday. I got something in um, at the beginning of the week, and I haven't got around to showing you yet, so today is the day. I'm going to do a video. I got in the Signature Series from Shop Zobi. Um, it's a mystery autograph subscription that you get once a month. And uh, they always give you a clue, but you're never sure exactly what it's going to be. So it's kind of a mystery. It's kind of fun. I really enjoy it. Um, it's it's one of my favorites. Uh, Shab Zobi, they're, they're awesome. So, so, anyway, the clue for this one is Superman and Lois, the TV series. Um, I'll be honest with you. I'm going to have no idea who this is because I have never, ever, ever seen this show. So... Um, I've seen many other Superman shows, but for some reason, this one went under the radar and I never did watch the show. So I was talking to some family members and they told me they liked it and they saw it, but, uh, anyway, so I'm going to have probably no idea who this is, which is cool. <laughs> okay. Zobi Certificate of Authenticity and... I have never, ever, ever seen this show. So, that's it right there. That's the autograph. Um, and I am not sure who that autograph is. So, hopefully they got a card in here. It's, it's, I love it because it's it's a cool poster. It's got uh, four of the main characters on it. But I'll have to see who this is. All right. Yes. It's one thing I love about the Signature Series is they always have a card in it. And uh, when you're a little if you're not sure who it is, it's always good to check. Um, for June 2023, the autograph is Alexander Garfin from Superman and Lois. And that's it right there. So, that's cool. Um, we have to look him up and see if I've seen him in other things. So that's really cool. Now July's theme is the Wonder Years and I have seen the Wonder Years so I'm looking forward to that one. Um, not that I wasn't looking forward to this one I just never seen the show before so but gives me something to watch so I'm going to check that out. Okay what else do I have for you today? Well let's make sure there's nothing else in the envelope. Okay I'm going to share with you a few movies that I picked up. Um as you guys know, I collect a lot of physical media, uh, Blu-rays, 4Ks, DVDs, um, and I like to share them with you every once in a while. I haven't done one in a while, but I thought I would share with you some that I picked up. I picked up this one, which it would help my fingers, my big fat fingers aren't in the way. I picked up Young Sherlock Holmes, and I got the steel, steel book of it. Um, I saw this movie a long, long time ago. It's a Steven Spielberg movie, and I absolutely loved it. I uh, I did not have it in my collection, so I was like, well, I take that back. I had a VHS copy of it, um, but I didn't have it on uh, Blu-ray or uh, DVD or anything, so I'm like, I picked it up. I was really happy, and I got this at a really reasonable price. So that was a really cool movie. And I picked up... Um, I know you guys know I'm kind of big into different movies. I love genres, and I love the horror genre. Um, one of my favorite vampire movies of all time is Fright Night, and I love Fright Night 1. I love Fright Night 2. I love the cast. I love the direction. I love the movies. They're one of my absolute favorites. Um, they did a remake of Fright Night, and I tend to be one of these people I don't like remakes. Um, I like the originals uh, that I've seen. And if I like them, I hate seeing remakes. But they did do a remake of Fright Night. I never saw it. I... No. I wasn't going to go to the theater. Um, I uh, I love the first one so much. And, and up here, that's always going to be my favorite. And I'm like, nope, I'm not going to see it. So, a while back, I was watching TV and Fright Night the remake came on 
And uh, I watched it, and I watched it not as a Fright Night movie, but as just a vampire movie. And I actually liked it. I thought it was actually, it was good. Um, not as good as the first one, but it was good. And if I look at it not as a Fright Night movie, but just as a vampire movie, I enjoyed it. So anyway, I was able to get this movie really cheap. That's why I purchased it. So I bought the remake of Fright Night. Um, uh, some very cool actors in it. Uh, I, you know, I, I, I like the actors that are in it. Um, uh, this gentleman right here, uh, he's passed on, but he was a, he was a very cool actor and, uh, lost him, uh, at a very young age. It's too, it's really sad because he was a very cool actor. So anyway, I was able to pick that up for a really reasonable price. So I purchased it. So I did something I said I would never do. All right. Now, last movie I picked up lately is The Old Way with Nicolas Cage. It's a Western. Um, it's got a cool, um, got a cool uh, slip cover on it. Um, I'm a fan of Nicolas Cage. I, I love just about everything he's been in. I have a huge collection of movies, and when his movies come out, I just purchase them. Um, or I'll go see them in the theater, and then I'll purchase them. Um, I like pretty much everything he's done. Um, so... As soon as I saw he was doing a Western, I think this is the, yeah, actually I know for a fact this is the first Western he's ever done. Um, I couldn't wait to, uh, to pick it up. So, haven't seen it yet, but uh, I will see it soon. So, those are the movies I picked up this week and the autograph I got. So, that's all I have for today, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. It's a little bit long. I apologize. I just wanted to fit in both the one signature series. I know I want to kind of give you an update of some of the movies I picked up this week. Thanks guys. Thanks for subscribing, liking, commenting. I appreciate it. You guys are awesome. And I look forward to seeing you soon. Hopefully I'll have something coming around the corner. I still have not got my, um, Zobi Fright Box. So I don't know what's going on with it. I'm going to have to check. So, um, anyway, Thanks, guys. I'll talk to you later, and I'll see you soon. Bye.